Hi, this is Melanie for Pretty Easy Reviews, and I'm here to review the 2002 film Baba, starring Rajnikanth, that was re-released uh, for his birthday here in 2022. If you're new to Pretty Easy Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Indian cinema. Okay, so this film, Baba, came out in 2002. I think it was not considered a successful film. I think it was kind of a flop, in fact, at the time. The story is by Rajnikanth. Fascinating. He was a producer. It was his production company that put out this film. The director is Suresh Krishna. The dialogues were written by Gopu Bapu and S. Ramakrishnan. And then the music, amazingly, was A.R. Raman. I love the soundtrack. Oh, gosh, the soundtrack. So it's a fascinating story of a man who is an atheist. We see at the beginning he has this sort of extraordinary birth, like his parents are too old to have children. It's and and um, he he's told his parents are told that he's destined for greatness. But then when we see him as an adult, he you know he smokes, he drinks, he's not a believer, he's an atheist. And over the course of the film, um, about the interval point, he has a spiritual awakening, something happens, but then he still has to test God. He's given a mantra, which would give a grant a wish, but he's not supposed to use it for his own personal selfish reasons. He still has to test. He doesn't believe yet. He has to test it. But when other people find out that he has this mantra, then they try to force him to use it for their political gain. So that's really kind of the, the, you know, the structure of the second half of the film. So what I was thinking as we got into the second half and the spiritual awakening happens is that while much of the film is very different, the overall theme kind of reminded me of Kantara, the recent Kannada film that, that made such a sensation this year, because it was very similar in that the main character, and Kantara is a rowdy, is rejecting the spiritual legacy of his family, and then only at the end of the film does he have this amazing spiritual experience, awakening, and amazing things happen. <laughs> so I'm not going to get into spoilers of that. Completely different kinds of films, but I'm just saying it's interesting having this 20th anniversary re-release of this film, Baba, in this year when we've had such a successful, extraordinary film on a similar theme. So this film was released back in theaters, uh, re-edited, and the ending was slightly changed. I think it was, the Wikipedia says it was an alternate ending. So I actually went back. It, fortunately, this, is, this film has subtitles. Thank you, Rakes. Amazing subtitles. New subtitles were provided for this re-release. I was able to find a copy online did not have subtitles, but I just watched the ending and it seemed like when Baba goes to the Himalayas and has another conversation with Baba G that there's an, like a little extended where he tells him he needs to go back for another life to um, honor his mother. So I think there's just some extra dialogues, but since the, the older version didn't have any subtitles, I'm not exactly sure, but I think that was really the main difference between, but maybe there's other editing, um, you know, I didn't rewatch the whole film. So if you're familiar with the original and you saw the re-release, I'm curious if you saw other changes, were there scenes left out, you know, or anything, you know, did they try to make it shorter? I don't know. You know, I, I, I'm not sure how much they re-edited it, but the best thing is, like I said, that they had these fantastic new subtitles for me that really clued me into what was going on, even though as an outsider, some of it, you know, some uh, some of the, probably the religious significance of some of the things happening in the film weren't completely clear to me. So it's interesting to me that Rajnikanth wrote the story for this and, um, you know, that it was, it's considered like, you know, I think in comments of the time when it came out, oh, the, you know, the gold, the sheen of the gold is off for him. And obviously he's had many successes since that time. 
but it's interesting that this particular film was re-released. I was thankful to be able to see a film that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to see with subtitles uh, because it was re-released. And the music especially was amazing. This is a, an A.R. Raman score and I, I thought, you know, of course Rajakanth was amazing and all the dance numbers. The heroine is played by Manisha Korala, so normally known for, I knew her, know her more for her Hindi. I think she her voice was probably dubbed for this film. But she's an amazing dancer as well. Their romance is not fully fleshed out because I like I said the main thrust of the story is that this man really should lead a more religious life. It was a little strange the first half of their you know she's wearing jeans and very western tight clothes and whatever and just uh kind of speaking um Hindi slang or whatever and assuming that Rajakanth's character wouldn't know Hindi and they have you know this conflict but then they have sort of this one love song together and then she just is like I love you and then she realizes and wakes up and runs away in horror that she actually said that out loud it was not that wasn't the main, the romance was not the main thrust of the film, let's just put it that way. Rajakanth is Rajakanth being amazing and, 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 um, you know, just, he has such panache, such style, such present screen presence in the film. But like I said, my favorite parts were especially the, um, song numbers and, um, like the last song during the big temple climax scene oh my gosh that song especially was really amazing so I was a little confused I will admit in part of the plot so I don't know if I got all of the shades of meaning of the film but I think it's just a really interesting film and um, what a way to honor Rajnikanth have a film that he wrote the story to himself be released for his birthday a film from 20 years ago and let me know if you've gone to the theater to see this re-release. Let me know what, how you love this film. What was your favorite scene? I know there's a famous line where I think he says, Katum Katum, that's like a famous dialogue from this film. But let me know if there's any other parts that are your particular favorites. Follow me on Twitter at PratesyYT. Follow me on Instagram at Pretty's Reviews. And if you hit the bell here when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.